Kabul, in Kabul's main children's hospital, two and a half year old Godena is sitting up in her bed, but she's too exhausted to even open her eyes. Her tiny body is wrapped in a blanket, only her emaciated face showing. Hunger is increasing dramatically in Afghanistan, fueled by an economic crisis that has only gotten worse since the Taliban seized power in the country three months ago. Godena's father, Janet Ghul, said he can hardly afford to feed her and his other five children. He used to work going house to house collecting scrap goods and selling them. But for the past three months, work has dried up and he has hardly made any money. Before, I had enough work, I could provide food. We could have meat one or two times a week, he said. Now his family mainly gets by on boiled potatoes. He said sometimes he only has bread soaked in green tea for his children, just to give them something so they stop crying. The U.N. World Food Programme said Monday that the number of people on the edge of famine has risen to 45 million in 43 countries. Overall, almost 24 million people in Afghanistan, or 60% of the population, suffer from acute hunger. An estimated 3. 2 million children under age 5 are expected to suffer from acute malnutrition by the end of the year. It's a crisis, it's a catastrophe, WFP Executive Director David Beasley said during a weekend visit to Afghanistan. The WFP is rushing in supplies to feed people as the harsh winter sets in, but it says it needs some $220 million a month in 2022 to fund its effort.